breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Fenrad Takus Malami demands obedience of court order. Fenrad Takus Malami demands obedience of court order. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Pro-democracy and Human Rights Group Foundation and Environment Rights Advocacy and Development, Fenrad, has called on the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, to, as a matter of urgency, allow the court verdict on the case of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Unamdekanu to stand on its merit for now. Fenrad regretted that the current era represents the worst nightmare for Nigerian judiciary from its get go when the houses of judges were invaded like that of Justice Mary Odili, which has been added to the list. The group, in a statement signed by the executive director, Comrade Nelson Unana Unwafo, and Head Corporate Accountability and Human Rights Enforcement, Barista Femisi Akonde, said, In all of this, history will remember that one man was the Antony General of our great nation, Malami. In recent times, people like Omoyele Omo Showere, El Zagzaki et al. have all suffered similar fate, even to a point where men of the DSS invaded the court to rearrest Showere, making its position clear in the light of the unanimous judgment handed down by the appeal court sitting in Abuja, which ordered that Mazi Unamdekano be discharged and acquitted. Ferrad said that Nigeria was in violation of international law since Kano did not identify as a Nigerian and was not traveling with Nigerian passport. It added, following the latest development, mixed reactions have followed the unanimous judgment from all parts of the nation, including from the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami's son. Kanu's case need not be reviewed here, but for clarity's sake, Fenrad wishes to highlight the same case focusing on its diplomatic implications for the Nigerian state. Kano, who has been standing trial over allegations bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of insightful material, importation of illegal implement, and so many others who was first arrested in 2015. Following these, an initial 11-count charge was preferred against him. Upon granting of bill on medical grounds in 2017, Kanu disappeared from Nigeria following the invasion of his compound by a team of the Nigerian army during the infamous operation codenamed Python Dance. Kanu had since alleged through his legal team that during the said invasion, lives were lost, including that of his dog.
Nigerian government, meanwhile, has maintained that Kano violated his bill, his bill conditions, and to make matters worse, even jumped the bill. Kano was later spotted in Israel, then the United Kingdom, his country of adoption. He was later intercepted and smuggled back to Nigeria to continue pleading his case, with the charges amended from 7 to 15. In the intervening period before his arrest in Kenya and deportation to Nigeria, Fenrad recalls that Nigerian federal government did not formally institute the process of extradition known as the London Extradition Scheme within the Commonwealth as a Commonwealth member state. If it ever did, such record is not known to Fenrad. Going by diplomatic relations, Nigeria has with the United Kingdom a written statement to the Crown Prosecution Services establishing a prima facie case against Mazi Unamdekanu is all that was required for the process of extradition to begin in accordance with the London extradition scheme within the Commonwealth known as the scheme. Unfortunately, Khan was abducted while in the East, African country of Kenya, and forcefully renditioned to Nigeria without a warrant or arrest in what the federal government claimed was interception. Kanu, as the federal government, Prosecution Council, claimed in its prayers and petition, incited violence leading to loss of lives and property the same federal government has. As of yet, refused to explain where and how Unamdekanu was intercepted. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.